Hey everyone, it's Mushroom Kingdom Puffle. Welcome back to more Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we beat our rival twice, chose our starter, and made it to Viridian City. And in this episode, I have caught all of the Pokemon that I mentioned in the last episode, being Rattata, Pidgey, Spiro, and Mankey, and evolved them into Primate, Firo, Raticate, and Pidgeotto. Now Pidgeotto is not the final evolution, but these are all the final evolution for these Pokemon. Um, I was going to get Pidgeotto up to its final evolution Pidgeot, but I decided that I'm going to wait on it until we can find the Pokemon that are high level to level 5, because I've been playing this game for 10 hours. So yeah, um, we're just going to go ahead and continue on now. So yeah. Let's just head on up here. Well now, I've, I've, I've had my coffee and that's what I need to get going. Hmm? What is that red box you have? Ah, so you're working on your Pokedex. Then let me give you a, a word of advice. Whenever you catch a Pokemon, the Pokedex automatically updates its data. You don't know how to catch Pokemon? I do, and I know how to train them. And I've been training them for 10 hours. I suppose I'd better show you then. Okay, so he's just going to show us how to catch Pokemon, so he encounters a Weedle here. Um, I don't know how he found a Weedle here, but he did. He goes into his bag, and he goes to the Pokeballs, and he throws a Pokeball, and that's all he does. He doesn't... Sorry. I'm a little tired today. Um, he doesn't tell you that, he doesn't tell you that you need to lower their HP or anything here. He does after the battle, I'm pretty sure, but like... This really doesn't teach you anything. Also, in the 10 hours of training Pokemon off of level 2s through 5s, I did not find a single shiny Pokemon, which is what I was hoping would happen, and it just didn't. There, now tell me, that that was educational, was it not? And here, take this too. Teachy TV. If there's something you don't understand, watch that. It will teach you about the basics of being a Pokemon trainer. Okay, I don't care about the Teachy TV. And he doesn't even tell us to lower their HP, that's great. Um, so right here on Route 2, we can find two new Pokemon. The Pokemon we can find here are Caterpie and Weedle. Caterpie is a bug type Pokemon that, will, that when fully evolved turns into a bug flying type. And Weedle is a bug poison type that stays that type all the way up to it's fully evolved. Now, the nice little perk of Caterpie and Weedle is that they are fully evolved at level 10. So, it's not going to take that long for you to get them fully evolved. Those Pokemon can also be found here, as well as their evolutions, Kakuna and, um, not Kakuna, we Metapod and Kakuna, which are the evolutions of Caterpie and Weedle, respectively. However, if you catch them in the wild here, they're only going to know Harden, which does nothing except raise your defense, meaning that you're going to need to switch them out to train them. So, I don't recommend it. I recommend catching Weedle or Caterpie, Caterpie and training them up to Kakuna and Weedle or Metapod. And yeah. Also in this area of Viridian Forest, we can find Pikachu, the game's mascot. Or, not this game's mascot, but the, the series mascot. Um, and, I mean, I don't feel like I need to explain Pikachu, but uh, Pikachu is a pure electric type, and it will stay pure electric when it is fully evolved, and you can fully evolve it just by giving it a Thunderstone. That is our first instance of a stone evolution. Basically, there's special stones found throughout the game. Um, thunder stones, water stones, leaf stones, fire stones, and uh, moon stones. And also, later in the game, we will find sun stones. Um, so you can use those to evolve your to evolve certain Pokemon, and Pikachu is one of them. So, yeah. Um... I mean, it's kind of sad, honestly, that Pikachu's evolution Raichu is overshadowed by its pre-evolution. And even Pichu, I feel like, is more popular than Raichu, thanks to it being included in Super Smash Bros. Melee. Um, I honestly was hoping, because I'm a supporter of the theory, hey, you have Pokemon, come on, let's battle him. Okay, so this is our first Pokemon trainer, he's just going to use some Bug-type Pokemon, but anyway... Um, I'm a supporter of the theory that Pichu and Melee evolved into Pikachu and Brawl, and so I was hoping that we would get Raichu in Smash Brothers 4, but it didn't happen, but 
It was just a little theory that I had that maybe that would happen, but unlike most of my Pokemon theories, I was not right. And yeah, when I say that, I have ha I have made up a lot of theories just randomly that I, 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 I was like, I'm just overthinking stuff, but like, or just wishful thinking, but then they turned out to be real. My best example of that is before Pokemon X and Y were announced, I theorized that, uh, I told all my friends and people on YouTube in the comments section of certain Pokemon videos that I thought the next generation, um, after Generation 5, Generation 6, would feature evolutions to the final evolutions of the Kanto starters, which of course were Venusaur, Charizard, and Blastoise. And no one believed me. Everyone was like, you're a complete and total idiot. And then Mega Evolution became a thing, and now we have Mega Venusaur, Mega Charizard, Mega Charizard again, and Mega Blastoise. So, uh, I don't mean to rub it in anyone's face, but I was right. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't believe that I was right about that, honestly. Also, you might have noticed, um, in Banjo-Kazooie, that, uh, like, the cropping was kind of weird. Like, if you have a square monitor, then it when you brought it into full screen, even though the video was square, it wouldn't take up the whole screen. And I'm not sure if that's happening with Leaf Green here. I'm hoping it isn't, but it might, and I'm sorry if it does, but we'll just have to see. Oh, God, so tired. Okay. Yeah. I don't mean to be so tired, but, uh, I mean... The finale of Banjo Kazooie went out yesterday, which means that next week this video I need to have an episode two recorded. So I'm, I kind of need to get this done now. But I like to fight all the traders in an area, especially when um, when I pick the starter that's weak against the first gym leader, which we'll get into. But uh, I don't know. I just I prefer to do this. So I want to have Charmander evolved before this first gym battle, or at least. I want him to reach the level that he learns Metal Claw, which is a Steel type move. Steel type is one of the. It was not actually a type in the first generation. It was introduced in the second generation, meaning that if you're playing along in Generation One, you're not going to be able to learn Metal Claw. Um, but Metal Claw, right there, as you can see, it'll help you beat the first gym leader very much. It's very helpful. But I still recommend evolving your Charmander if you do choose Charmander, just because it gives him enough power to really be able to win um, against his first gym leader. So I guess I can explain gym leaders. Basically, that gym leaders are the main concept of Pokemon. Um, your goal is to defeat... God, stop yawning, Trevor! Okay. Um, your main goal is to defeat all eight of the gym leaders, and gym leaders will each focus on their own specific type. And they'll normally have a name based off of that type. But, uh... What was I saying? Um, they'll normally have a name based off of that type. Like, for example, this first gym leader is named Brock, and he uses Rock-type Pokemon. Um, Brock's in the name, so pretty easy to figure out there. Um... And there's just gonna be eight gym leaders in every Pokemon game, you gotta beat them all, and then you can access the Pokemon League which will have four people there, four really powerful trainers known as the Elite Four, and they, if you beat all of them, and they will also focus on their own types, if you beat all of them, then you will get to fight the Champion, which sometimes focuses on a, on a specific type, but normally they don't. They just use a lot of, the, a lot of different types of Pokemon. Um, I plan to fight this first gym leader in this video. I mean, we're only nine minutes in. I think we'll have enough time as long as I can get Charmander evolved. Um, I might go off screen for a little bit just to train him up, because he m he might need to be like one level higher or something, but that's no big deal. I'm kind of hoping to find a Pikachu, um, just so I can show it off. It's only a 5% chance of finding it here, and this is the only place where you can find it. It's kind of weird how they make how they made the game's mascot or the, the game series' mascot so rare, but he is he is pretty rare. Um, right over here, I believe this is a potion, if I'm remembering correctly. Yep, it's a potion. Alright. Um, I guess I should also explain that if you are one of the newer people who play the newer Pokemon games, you know that every move is either special or physical. 
Not so in Generations 1 through 3. In Generations 1, 2, and 3, uh, whether or not whether a move, be, a, a move being physical or special was entirely decided by its type. Normal type is, like for example, normal type is physical, fire, fire, grass, and water are all special. No matter what move it is, if, if it's that type, it will always be physical or special respectively. You can look up a list online, I'm sure that there's something, um, but pretty much every time I learn a new type of move, I'll explain it. So like Metal Claws is steel type, steel type will always be physical in this generation. So just keep that in mind. It, um, like, it, it doesn't matter what you teach them, it's always going to be uh, physical or special depending on the move type, so you can't really take advantage of a of a Pokemon's better, like if a Pokemon has a better physical attack stat than it does a, a special attack stat, you really can't take advantage of that unless if like its type, its specific type happens to be, happens to match that, which is the case with Charmander. So he, he, is, he is focused on special attack for the most part. He still has some pretty good uh, physical attack, but he's focused on special attack. So yeah. Um, we're gonna go ahead and come up here. This is our first gym here. But before we go there, let's actually go ahead and check this out. Ah uh, yes, it's $50 for a child's ticket. Would you like to come in? Yes. Alright, so this is the museum. So check this out. It's an Aerodactyl fo fossil. A primitive and rare Pokemon. And then right here we have a Kabutops fossil. A primitive and rare Pokemon. So these are some fossils of uh, rare Pokemon. This month we're running a space exhibit. So they're just fossil Pokemon. You can only get them through fossils. A meteor that fell on Mount Moon. It is thought to be a moonstone. So there you go. That's the evolutionary stones I was talking about. That's the moonstone. Uh, right here we have a little space shuttle. Um, I don't. I know that it actually had a name in the original games, and I think it was like the name of a real ship that ended up crashing or something. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I think that that's what happened. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and enter the gym now that we've seen the little museum there. All right. Stop right there, kid. You're 10,000 light years from facing Brock. Actually, I'm two steps, but whatever. So this guy in the original generation was kind of a doofus. He didn't use any rock type Pokemon despite being in a rock type gym. He used a Sand True, which is a ground, which is a pure ground type, and a Diglett, which which is also a pure ground type. In this game, he at least has a Geo Dude, but he still has, which is a rock ground type, but he still has the Sand True, which is again a pure ground type. Um, and judging by this, it looks like I am going to need to train Charmander up one more level because he evolves at level 16 and it looks like we're only going to reach level 15. So I probably will uh, cut out the parts after this battle. I don't know why I used Metal Claw. I could have used uh, Ember. It would be the same effectiveness and it's going to do more damage because I it's same type attack bonus and whatever. Um, but yeah, I, I think that I'm going to need to uh, cut this part out, so I will be right back. I'm going to go train Charmander up to the next level, and I will see you guys when he starts evolving. Okay, be right back. Okay, so right here, we have the poison status. We just got poisoned by this Weedle's po poison sting. And so basically, poison is going to make us lose a little bit of our health after each turn. And it even stays in effect after battle, where it will continue damaging you with your steps. One damage, uh, I think like for five steps or something like that. And um, in generations one through three, if you don't bring them to the Pokemon Center, they can faint from this. So as you can see, we're getting a little bit of a spasm on our screen. That is what is happening. We are poisoned, and it is not good. Um, so we're going to go ahead and come in here. Now, I did catch a Caterpie and a Weedle. 
and I'm still not evolved, but I just thought I'd show this because we got poisoned and that's something new. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and deposit those and then I'll see. And I just realized guys, I had the battle scene set to off for uh, for the training and I forgot to turn it back on. Sorry about that. We haven't been getting any animations for our attacks. Sorry. Uh, I'll be right back. Alright guys, this should do it. Ugh, come on, he didn't die, are you serious? Alright, so this should do it. We should reach level 16 from this battle, and here we go. Charmander is level 16, which means he's going to evolve. Or she is going to evolve, I'm sorry. Ugh, I'm never gonna get used to my starter being female. Again, normally I'd reset if that happens, but I'm not gonna do it this time. But it is a 7 to 1 chance that it will be male, so it's not very common for it to be female. Alright, there we go. We have a Charmeleon. So we're going to go ahead and head back up to Brock's gym, and we're going to fight him. But first I'm going to heal, so I'll meet you in front of Brock. Oh, look at that! So right there, that is our first in instance of a hidden item. There are sometimes items that are not, you can't actually see them, but they are there and you can pick them up. So there's a little Pokeball there. Um, I didn't know that that was there. I, I'm pretty sure that there are hidden items back in uh, Viridian Forest, but I didn't, I didn't find any of them. So there's our first instance of a hidden item. So you're here. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter's gym leader. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are, are rock hard and have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all the rock type. Fwaha, <laughs> you're going to challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Dun dun dun. Alright, so right here against our first gym leader, Brock. He's going to start off with a level 12. Uh, rock ground type Geodude. So this fight, again, I don't know if I said this yet, but it's going to be a lot easier if you chose Bulbasaur or Squirtle because uh, rock and ground are both weak to water and grass, which means that they will take four times damage from a grass or water attack when they are used against a, a rock and ground type. Pokemon, and all of Brock's Pokemon are Brock and Ground type. So, yeah. We luckily got a little bit of an attack boost. That is one of the side effect, uh, one of the bonus effects of Metal Claw. It has a chance to increase your attack stat. And now, right here, we have Onix, yet another Rock Ground type. And it's going to be a lot harder. It's going to actually know a Rock type move, and it's going to hurt you. Wow! Two attack boosts. Sweet. Um, but here comes the rock type attack again. Charmander is going to be weak against that, and also Rock Tube is going to lower your sp your speed, which means that he's going to be able to hit you um, first, even if you are very fast. So luckily, it looks like we are going to be able to beat him. Um, I'm going to use Metal Claw just to be safe. I don't want to like go for scratch and be funny. Uh, so there we go. First gym leader is down. I'm not sure if we need if we even needed Charmeleon, but I feel like he still helped. I took you for granted, and so I lost. As proof of your victory, I confer th on this on you this the official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. Just having the Boulder Badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. It also enables you to u enables the use of the move Flash outside of battle. Of course, a Pokemon must know the move Flash to use it. I'm pretty sure that at this point, the only Pokemon you can catch that can learn Flash is Pikachu. Wait, take this with you. A TM, Technical Machine, contains a technique for Pokemon. Using a TM teaches the move it contains to a Pokemon. A TM is good for only one use. So, when you use one, pick the Pokemon carefully. Anyways, TM39 contains Rock Tomb. It hurls boulders at the foe and lowers its speed. So yeah, up until Generation 5, Technical Machines, TMs, were one use only. 
So I'm going to save that until I have my full team so that I can really think about what Pokemon I want to teach that, if any of them, and I'm going to do that with all the TMs in this game that are finite, which means obviously there's only like one of them in the game. There are some TMs that you can buy, and in that case there's an infinite amount of them, so if that's the case then I will just teach it to whoever I want. Um, but before we go, I just want to show off that this is the Pokemon Jigglypuff right here. And if we talk to it, uh, let me turn up my volume. He's so cute. I love Jigglypuff. It's probably my favorite Pokemon. Um, but anyway, that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Um, in the next episode, we'll go ahead and go on to the next route. Uh-oh. 515 frame drop. Hopefully that's not too bad. Probably didn't go below 24 frames. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Later.